So we're gonna begin by focusing on the critical issue of what creates an angle in the first place. And I'll cut to the chase and just go ahead and tell you, there's one factor that more than any other factors determines where the ball goes, and that is the racket face, where the strings are facing at contact. I don't care what stance you're in, uh, I don't care what grip you're using or what kind of spin you hit, wherever your strings are facing at the moment of contact, to the highest degree determines where the ball goes. So if, for example, Ira wanted to hit a forehand that went straight right down the line towards those yellow cones right in front of him, all right, can you show me an ideal contact point for that target, please? So as Ira swings forwards to make contact with the ball, ideally at contact, which lasts just this tiny fraction of a second, we want his racket face to be facing towards that target. Now from this contact point, contact point ultimately is the biggest factor that determines where the racket is facing. Where the racket's facing determines where the ball goes. Contact point is the biggest factor that determines where the racket's facing. If Ira didn't change anything about his body position, but I asked him, all right, Ira, now I want you to hit towards the side T, an angle, without moving your arm or your shoulder or your hand. Uh, he, he could do it by turning his wrist in, but now we start getting into really kind of awkward, you know, you can see from the side, side angle, his strings are facing towards that, that side T now, so he could hit a short angle, but this is obviously an awkward position to be in. So rather than do that, he's gonna keep a comfortable position with his hand, and his contact point as a whole is gonna shift so that contact is further out in front relative to, let's say, a down the line shot. So if you wanted to hit down the line instead, you'd see his entire core rotate, and now this is where he would make contact. So contact point is critical. And if we measured, let's say, here's contact to hit down the line, and here's contact to hit a short angle. You know, we're looking at about 18 inches or so, maybe two feet of difference of contact point. And that's just a tiny fraction of a second as far as the timing of his forward swing. And that's really the big thing. The earlier Ira begins his swing, the further out in front he's gonna make contact with the ball. The longer he waits, the further back the ball travels before it meets his racket, and the more down the line the ball will naturally travel. So in the videos after this, we're gonna go through some progressions that will train you to be able to meet the ball well out in front and achieve that big, sharp angle. And then after that, we'll talk about how to keep it in play, but first, first things first, we need to at least find that angle and we'll talk about how to shape it and use topspin to actually keep it in play so that you can use it during your point play.